Hello everyone, you're welcome to this week's edition of the Ultimate Money Show. My name is Lola De Akim Reli, I'm the Deputy Editor at Business Day. And today I'm here to tell you about why Airtel stock is a buy. Now you must have heard news that Airtel Africa as well as MTN Nigeria obtained approvals in principle from the Central Bank of Nigeria for payment service bank licenses. Now what you have not heard is exactly how much the mobile money service operation in Nigeria would boast Airtel in particular now. And that's what I'm here to do, to do for you today. And that's why it's really no surprise that Airtel's uh, share price has gone up by 12.8% to 808 Naira in the last three to four days. Now, I'll tell you exactly the numbers, the compelling numbers behind why Airtel stock is a buy and exactly what the PSB license would do to revenues of Airtel Africa. Now, you need to stay with me here. I'll throw a lot of numbers around. First is... Airtel Africa already operates mobile money services in other African markets. You know, they have operations in Gabon, for instance, where they're categorized as a high penetration market because 65% of people in Gabon who are Airtel subscribers use their mobile money service. And then they have markets where there's lower penetration, like the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where 16.6% of Airtel subscribers in that country already use mobile money services. But guess what? The average across all the markets where they operate is 35.68%. Now listen to this. If Airtel were to start their mobile money operations in Nigeria, just how much if you were going to apply the average uh, penetration rate to their number of subscribers? Remember here that they have 50.6 million subscribers, at least they had. 50.6 million subscribers as at the end of July, according to data from the NTC. So when you add that, you find that Airtel could be staring at 18 million users of mobile money in Nigeria alone. So that's 35.68% of 50.6 uh, million subscribers, you know. And if that's the case, then how much exactly would Airtel be making from each one of these 18 million people? I'll tell you. I looked at the data so I can give you the facts. The mobile money average revenue per user for Airtel in the markets you already operate is $1.87. Now, if you were to multiply $1.87 to the potential 18 million mobile money users that Airtel could have in Nigeria, that gives you $33 million a month. Yes, $33 million a month. Because Airtel makes $1.87 a month from their existing mobile money users across the African markets in which they operate. Now, how much is that in a year? That's $405 million in a year. Now, for context, Airtel Africa made only $402 million in the whole of last year. Now, Airtel has a unique calendar, which means that, uh, you know, they categorized last year as 2021. But, you know, in a full, in a 12-month period, they made $402 million. So look at that. But why are you surprised? 18 million subscribers from Nigeria alone is 75% of their current 23 million subscribers to mobile money services already. So you see how revolutionary that could be. What that means is that by the end of the day, when Airtel Africa does get the final approval to go ahead with their mobile money services in Nigeria, and if my estimates are correct, then it means that they would double their mobile money revenue just by adding Nigeria, their largest market anyway. So it's no surprise. So that's exactly what is going on. And that's why a lot of investors are sharing the news that Airtel Africa, as well as MTN, have both re received those approvals in principle. Now, it's a no-brainer. If Airtel's revenues would increase, if Airtel's mobile money revenue would increase and that would impact revenue and impact profit, then it means that the stock should probably be priced higher than where it is priced now given the current level of revenues. And that's why I must tell you now that look, immediately after this, you should probably speak to an investment advisor to get you to understand exactly why you probably need to take a second look at Airtel Africa shares. Don't say I didn't tell you. Anyway, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be talking about MTA Nigeria, breaking it down exactly what the PSB license does for them as well and their revenues and why you should probably consider them as well because they are also doing good. MTA Nigeria hit an all-time high this week as well, just as Airtel did. That is it for this week. Don't forget to visit our website at www.businessday.ng and please do subscribe. Thank you and see you next week. Yeah.